I'm dreaming. I just saw a really dreamy movie. I think we, <laughs> I loved it. The, this movie, this movie was with Kevin Costner, who's really great. He's very, he's very um, emotional, and he is, he's very helpful and helps some ghosts. I say, Daddy, do you want to play catch with me? <laughs> and, oh, and he wasn't uh, told. Oh no, that's so sad. Because this was a good movie. He wasn't home. He was. <laughs> oh, good movie watchers like us are watching movies with them. In, in, in we bring we bring so much to a movie. We are very good movie watchers, and we don't bother anybody around us. And when we come out of the theater, I think. I've gotten in more enormous, and my hair's gotten longer, and you have this thing on your chin. That's right. Uh, it was four years ago we did our first show for Northampton Cable Access. You know, you get what you pay for, more or less. Except you're paying an enormous cable premium, but <laughs> that's okay. None of it comes to us. This is out of the goodness of our hearts. All right? Busy, we'd like to offer this to you as our, our special way of saying, well, keeping you, tidying you over till the Christmas show. Because we know right. how badly you very badly need to see us, right? That's right. Yes. So, so there years of pure bliss. Nineteen ninety-three also saw the end of the. So, so, all right. So he didn't have any pride, and that's probably why he killed himself. But. He did some remarkable films, some films that, well, he was he, he's a, typecast as a character actor. I mean, I suppose, what are you going to do with a guy who has a strange accent who's, who's four foot one or something? He, he, he was in um, uh, The Man with the Golden Gun, cult film, and I highly recommend that. And the thing about um, Hervé was he was physically ill for most of his life with his body being so little and... <laughs> hey, you can leave the ashes on the sugar on the coffee table like that. You leave the you leave the rings and things. These are bad. Oh, little buddy, consider Change this thoroughly. Okay. Sense and Sensibility is by Jane Austen. She was born in impetus for her writing stylings. Um, 1811, Sense and Sensibility was published. Anonymous, anonymously, of course, because um, back in those days, it wasn't uh, quite uh, proper for a lady to be the wit, realism, and timelessness of her construction of the political, societal, whatevers uh, make it really popular today uh, to everyone. He doesn't want to see me. And it turns out that the brother got married to the sister, and it was, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, is. Uh, I preferred Clueless, basically. <laughs> you can find in one booth at Friendly's on any given day. The, uh, That's right. It's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like the infirmity of the year award. And Bill right now is going to do a little, <laughs> little impression. It was great. I love the fribbles. Fribbles will be wonderful. All fribbles good. All getting all chocolatey. Oh, 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 oh. Don't, don't be bad. Don't be bad. Fribbles good. Good. Yeah. Woody Harrelson in The People vs. Larry Fruz and Jerry Maguire. Fine, fine, let's just all go. Let's go. <laughs> Very good, Bill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is really, really good, and I, he, he should make this like his franchise. No, he's really, really good for a Scientologist. Mission Impossible 2 on the way. I think the end of the movie kind of gave a little hint for that. Mission Impossible 2. An eaglet, but that's nature. And I'll see you next week on Wild America. It was... suck. Trouble. It was just...
I haven't seen those Kotex commercials, <laughs> but I'll take your word for it. The light, frothy ones. <laughs> I don't, it's conjuring up images I don't want to dwell on. I think any movie that has needling and noodling, it's, it's got to be good. You know. I think there's some of that in Larry Flint, actually. Yeah, yeah. Needling. Damn this movie. That pretty much sums it up. Okay, our next movie is Casper the Friendly Ghost. Now, I still can't get over the fact that Casper is a little dead guy. Who is this little dead guy, you know, running around? I, th I think it's more like SBD, you know what I'm saying? This is like a gaseous, stinky little cloud that hovers around the theater. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what, what is this guy, a little piece of spook poop that looks Richie Rich? Who read Casper? I was, you know, I was, I was the hardcore Archie stuff, you know? I was reading uh, Little Lotta. Yeah, little damn it, that's, yeah. That's the tough stuff. I mean, now suddenly they're taking... Have one. Have fun. <laughs> the Preacher's Wife, starring Whitney Houston and Denzel Washington. Ooh. Feel-good movie. Now, the movie, this movie, the people who go see it and like it, people who tear out perfume ads from Vanity Fair and wear it at their company Christmas party. Which also, it's the, the, it's the same people who... Who, who, you know, dress like their parents picked out their clothes or have little Christmas themes every year in their, in their sweaters. And these are the same people that, uh, goodies who are bothered by the police when they put nickels in everybody's <laughs> parking meters around Christmas time. Little did they know that there's, you don't have to pay, you know, from December 20th on. It's, the, the people who like this movie are of Santa and his Mrs. Claus and the reindeer and every other sodomite under the sun <laughs> on their lawn just... For, for Christmas decorations, and, it, and it, it's a project that... And little Rudolph. I wear later hose and, and little holly this is gonna bows be, on my this shirt. This is going to be good. So, actually, I'm, actually I'm hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Now, that's a movie reveal. Rawr! works thing that 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 unholy alliance with Bill Gates and and Geffen and it's yeah but, mean, but the, 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 yeah so I guess I think that um, his new girlfriend's giving him a sense of humor again and this movie was very funny Mira Sorvino was very funny and uh, it was <laughs> see it when it comes out in video <laughs> no I'm, I'm having trouble coming up with uh, things to say because uh, when you see a movie I feel it more than, you know, I don't take notes or anything. I just found thumbs way up, thumbs way down. You know, it, there's, there's a lot of room for discussion, and uh, I'm just kind of babbling right now. So you like you Mighty like the, the 11th hour, and I found myself with a hole where my holiday spirit was supposed to be. I spent most of the evening trying to fill that hole with an amber spirit I keep in the desk, but the dark pit seemed to be bottomless. I'm the guy who's been ordained to find out who's naughty across simple streets, but then he calls them late at night, and he tells them what moves him. Nothing simple. No, it never is, and it never was. So here I am, a heavyweight elf whose legs creak like a dock, just a little punch drunk at the dusty haunches of two flatulent, bickering reindeer. Each year I'm swallowed up by the murky boil of the Yuletide. My velvet suit feels like there's an anvil in each pocket but it's really weighed down with centuries of children and pay half price to go see a movie in the daytime. And I must have done something wrong because I've been doing this forever. I've been damned to some French guy's idea of hell. I suppose it's worth watching. I mean, it, it's just, it's, it's sappy as all hell. It's like, it's like drinking a bottle of maple syrup. And you, it's, it, I'm sorry, that's, it just doesn't do anything for me. I think that... Well, that goes down to, it's not how many toys you get, not how many presents under the tree, but it's holding hands with all the other little people in Whoville singing Havu Dores, Havu Dores. What, what is Havu Dores? Is that, is that some of this thing? 
and in some uh, lots of little cute kids singing this song and somewhere we're all going to pay in some horrible but the point Holocaust is movie. none of the who people cared about the presence <laughs> you know they didn't have it the right. Billy brown for being a blockhead not getting a good tree but as it turns out in the end it was a pretty good tree after all well i think it's allegorical to the 80s uh, the reagan era that tree it was dead it was like charlie brown of course this this uh, this loner. So he, Charlie Brown fits his profile is the same thing you hear about all these ass assassins, these people who shoot presidents and things. A loner, no one really liked him. But didn't do you remember what Linus had to say? Forget that um, Tiny Tim <laughs> had forget. a loving family. That's, and uh, yeah, they tend to forget the little puppy inside all of us. I think true. that's true. The the little warm, snuggly puppy just asking for a little hug and and a dry paper to ones that you really can't stand all that much. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming. It can be a little daunting to get together. It's, the, I mean, this is when people get really anxious and nervous about having their whole family together. And so there's, there's certain... This is true. Sometimes you just don't want to go. You just want to make up some excuse. Or just pretty much shut everyone up so they'll leave you alone and not talk to you. Yeah, um, one, one of mine was um, brothers, sisters, mommy and daddy. I'm having a sex change operation and the hormones are starting to kick in. My nipples are a little tender. I think I have to go home now and relax. There are things about us and, and I think I'd like to take this time to talk to all of you about some certain things involving pentangles and cloven hooves. Or say you just ate a big meal, great meal, but you don't want to hang around small talk for the rest of the night watching the football. Another one is, is that um, um, <laughs> you know, I, lately I've been hearing voices and they've been telling me to either kill people or kill myself, but it's okay, everything's fine, because I, I just, I choose to ignore them. <laughs> or just So you can take those or leave them as, as you wish, that's entirely up to you. Uh, I would suggest that you just drink heavily and um, drink as much eggnog as possible, then later on if you do all of my resolutions. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good one to start with. I, and I think so. I have some resolutions. Let's see. Let's see. My first resolution. Oh, yeah. Here's, here we go. 1990. Stop smoking in my car at night <laughs> in East Hampton when I'm pulled over. Because I, that, that remind, I will try a different form of expression of enthusiasm other than saying something other than absolutely. <laughs> so I, I think I'm going to try and say like things like Definitely. Absolutely. That's like putting the nachos is the is the big one. I think a lot of people should benefit from that. You know, the little pretzels are all right, but stay away from those nachos, I think. And when you say a lot of people benefit from that, is that like people were sitting around you at the theater or you're just benefiting from this advice? Benefiting from the advice. I understand. Okay. And other stories that I haven't seen and I, and I think it's time for me to let go, climb a stair. No do you do elevators? Elevators are cool. There's nothing to step up. I just never really did quite master the one step. I can get up one in one sitting. I'm going to get up at 6 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to get a big thing of coffee and watch all 18 and a half hours from 6 a.m. till whenever, how long it takes. And I'm going to watch it straight through. No breaks. You're going to need a catheter, I think. In Kurosawa in chronological order. Every single day, one Kurosawa film. Very nice. So, I'm not sure when that's going to actually start, but I think I, I haven't seen enough Japanese films lately. You know? Keep aiming up. And of all things that were once better, that's baseball. The splash of a warm beer on the back of your neck and a loud obscenity in your ear. Two guys with no shirts on trying to punch each other in the face in the bleachers. A coke rehab in Minnesota for a lousy pitcher. A moronic nickname like Special K. A thin cheese gruel on salty chips and a pint-sized wiener in a foil pack. That's baseball. Baseball. A bunch of overpaid babies whining about salary caps and a slew of stingy, wealthy owners acting like my eight-year-old nephew. That's baseball. We, we, we. Consider, consider ourselves, ourselves, ourselves the luckiest, luckiest man, man, man. Kevin Costner was very concerned because, well, he can't act, see? So he has to look good in any events. She really bugged me in this movie because she had, she was two notes. The first note was, oh, I'm, I'm happy. My sources say no. <laughs> Look at me. I'm Madonna. Look at my child. I'm a serious artiste. Look at me. Look at me. 
Look at me. My name is the lecherous astronaut, the lecherous dog trainer, the lecherous, the, the lecherous wolf, the lecherous witch. This guy. Lauren Bacall, who doesn't worship the very ground she walks on? She's never been nominated before. This year, she's going to its give up cable for three years just to send her email, okay? I love her. And you do, too. You know you do. Don't you love her? I love her. <laughs> I love I her. I would walk down Main Street. Keep, who get paid a lot of money, a lot of money to keep showing up and just be dicks. <laughs> and not only, I mean, okay, be dicks on film, but the thing is, these people go out and live and breathe and have political opinions about stuff. And they're back. What and about the other Corey? Do you like him? Corey uh, Haim? Corey Haim, but he's gone now. He's, is he? No. I, no? No. Oh, I haven't seen him around much. Does he hang around with Corey Feldman Yes, still? he does. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, there's a couple of losers. These guys couldn't even qualify for bro But, I mean, what? The, you're not that good. You're just not that good. You, the, the Estevez Sheen family, <laughs> you're all dimwits. You're <laughs> drunken, flatulent boobs, and no one likes you. No one. <laughs> No one likes you. Recently, I had to pay this huge settlement because he has like 10 chihuahuas and they peed all over this, this European villa. Mickey Rourke, what a tank. This guy, I actually saw the brilliant film Double Team, which I strongly recommend if anyone really wants to. Um, well, uh, you know. Yeah, well. Yeah, Shaquille O'Neal, Michael ooh, Jordan. Oh, Shazam. There was a, you know, there was a pride. There was let's, a, let's... That was a dignity thing for him. That was a man pride thing. I'm going to play Shazam, too, to be sure. It was also, well, the, there's the, the A dicks and the B dicks. I just did the B dicks. The A dicks, of course, are Bruce Willis, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, yeah, basically every Republican actor. Stallone. Dick Stallone. Uh, uh, Goldie Hawn. She's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Bacall. <laughs> Do you feel better now to uh, get this off of your chest? Well, I think a, I'm thinking about public I, forum. I think I, I'm speaking. I think people have the same feeling about the, the, the woman even has enough money to buy a soft freeze ice cream cone, and I don't have a quarter of what that piss ant's got. He's such. I I don't know. You know the. I wouldn't put the if I ran over him. I wouldn't put the energy to put the theater. I said, what a good movie that was. I think it was so good. You're absolutely right. I think uh, what I enjoyed about was Joe Pesci's performance was delightful. I thought that Fred Gwynn looked robust, and I predict great things. His career is about to take off again. And, and I think it was a wonderful, wonderful movie because, well, because it was good. You know what? I was uh, driving in my car like two or three days after I had seen the movie. And you know me and you, we bring so much to uh, theater when we go. A lot of people might not like a certain film, but when we go, we bring so much. At 1994 are Cy Becker of WWLP. John Morrison of the Valley Advocate. The award for the best really good movie watcher goes to Everybody who watches the Bill and Dana show. Martin Abadondo. And you know who the rest of you are. Boy. I'd also like to thank um, the Lullaby League and the Lolly. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. What an enormous tribute. <laughs> I've never I wet my pants now. I'm, I'm not going to wet my pants. Maybe just a little, it's a big moment, so there's a podium. Wow, man. And if I could give, be serious for a moment. Uh, you must stay on the road for as far as 
you must take it. Uh, then, it's after World War II club, and you, and you come to the dairy market, you bear, bear right again, uh, you bear left, that's right, and then you take a right at the next fork, and the academy music's been built down the right direction since the first time you here. Okay. And, and I think Payne agrees with me on this, I know he does, that it, it's time for us to all stand in solidarity for the ethical treatment of rodents, and in, and in particular, gerbils. Okay, I'd like to reiterate that we haven't seen any of these movies uh, for the summer blockbusters. Not a one. And we've read a lot of publications about what's going to be good, what's going to be bad. And, you know, we have our own opinions. Zelig, kind of weird guy. Idiot savant type of, who, like, um, kind of a bean He's looking there. for his true love or something like that. Forrest Gump. Listen to me now and believe me. Tom Hanks, you can't go wrong. It's going to have the special effects. It's going to have the budget. It's going to be... This will be romantic and poignant, and it won't... Uh, you know, I don't think... I don't think anyone's going to be blowing up in this thing, but... It, it really was a good movie. My, my, let's go get some finger sandwiches <laughs> and talk about it, shall we? <laughs> I think it's that good. It's got a low embarrassment level. I mean, speed and, you know... So Forrest Gump, I just love saying that, Forrest Gump, Forrest Gump, you can say it too, Forrest Gump, they'll say it. <laughs> Forrest Gump, yeah, well, that's really, that's very liberating. Well, it, that one, this is going to be the big year, 1995, <laughs> big, big year. Yeah, this is the year, this is the year that Republicans run around and take charge. This is really going to be a big year. This Which is reminds where, me. Yeah. Forrest Gump sucked. I'm sorry. I think yeah, Newt Gingrich really liked that movie a lot. <laughs> it's just... also coming out in April on video. Only $22.95. Reserve your copies today. Yeah. Yeah. Forrest Gump. I... I... <laughs> no, I yeah. And we actually recommended that was... Stickers. Don't get Gump toys or clothes. And don't start... See, that guy who... Who was upset about the 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 Minuteman thing at the at the Minuteman logo at UMass? He was. I'm, I can't go on. I'm Forrest Gump. My movie's like a box of chocolates. It's really gooey and awful sweet. If you swallow the whole thing, it'll make you real sick and throw up. Please don't give me the Academy Award. Wanna lick me? I'd see if your tongue gets stuck. I'm free. This is the way the world could end. What, you frigid or something? Hey! I'm Batman. No, you call it! Huh? I hope you don't catch a very freeze! <laughs> I have to get back to the ER set in a half an hour. That's all right. Hello. Hey, old man. What kind of disguise is that? You can tell who you are. Well, not I can see your nipples. I can see all your nipples. Here we go. It's the Ice Cafe starring Peggy Oh. Make like hockey players and get the puck out of here, Batman. <laughs> Open the pot bay door. We shall kill you. Now it's time to think about your safety. He's uh, Special uh, Agent uh, John Kruger. Uh, He'll be handling your personal security. We have a problem. The Cullen woman is still alive. And her name's still in the phone book. He's oh. Well, no, I hope the penthouse. The I've, I've seen your photos, but in penthouse, you claims that I've sent you're, you're pretty attractive. Ouch. It's an alligator. Damn it. Except the one. Here we go. Guarded by, by him. You're alive, no, so spank me. Way. Please Trust spank me. me. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Consider yourself whited out. 
around it. Not too many people know this, but uh, there was a probe on Uranus, and I think we actually have footage of... Um, we have... On Uranus is... Uh, well, take a look for yourself and, and, and see what you... I'm a little dubious, but let's have a look. Foonery laid out before your very eyes. And I'd just like to thank Terry Morris for putting up with us for all these years, being there from show. That's a remarkable feat and not a not a pretty job. So there you go. So there you go. That ought to tide you till Christmas. Happy holidays. We love you for loving us. <laughs> very much. of buffoonery laid out before your very eyes. It's a lot of magic. That's right, Terry's able to glean little nuggets of, of gold out of uh, large heaping piles of manure, steaming okay. heaping piles of manure. And that's a remarkable feat and not a, not a pretty job. So there you go. So there you go.